when looking at the sports betting boards every day, I'm always searching for a scenario that looks too good to be true. A line that doesn't make sense. Something that may be a potential sucker bet. Well, I have one of those situations in the NFL on Sunday. And stay tuned. I'll get right to that. But before, I need to address a couple things, folks. So just bear with me just for a moment here. And I appreciate your patience. There is a subscribe button right underneath. Click that subscribe button. It's just a small token of your uh, appreciation for the work we do on this channel. It's also absolutely free to do so, and you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world. Um, and while you're at it, go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be uh, notified immediately upon any of our great content going up on our great channel. Also, folks, a like button underneath. If you hit that like button, it's just a small token of appreciation for the work I do. And I would certainly appreciate it. And, uh, you know, if you've been with me over the last four or five weeks in the NFL, God bless you. Because since week three, my NFL free pick videos right here on Wager Talk TV are 16 and four. Uh, numbers don't lie. The video doesn't lie. And it's all in the archives there for you to check. For those of you who doubt me. Not many out, out there do, but just in case, you know what I mean? I always like to be transparent, and I tell you when I'm losing, too. So, <clears throat> in any event, let's get to the game I want to discuss, and it's the Philadelphia Eagles at the Cincinnati Bengals, 1 o'clock Eastern time, and this line opened with Cincinnati being a three-point favorite. They're now down to two and a half, and the total is 48. This line makes absolutely no sense to me. And when that happens, more times than not, I'm looking for a contrarian approach, a contrarian mindset when it comes to handicapping that particular game, no matter what sport it's in. In this particular instance, it's in the NFL. Why do I say no sense? Well, I'm glad you asked, folks. This is a Cincinnati team that's three and four on the season. And their three wins have come against teams with a combined four and 17 record. So they haven't exactly been tearing it up. Uh, against quality teams, and they've taken advantage of some of the weaker competition they've had to face so far. And on the other hand, too, uh, you know, we got they're going to be facing a Philadelphia team that's four and two this season, and that includes three and one straight up on the road in neutral site games this year. And by the way, here's another telling sign: Cincinnati at home this year, zero and three straight up in ATS, and they're a favorite against a team that has a better record than them and a team that has thrived on the road as well. Um, this, to me, looks very, very fishy, folks. And you also have a Philadelphia team that's a superb rushing offense. And they're going to be facing a Cincinnati defense that's had a hell of a time stopping to run on a consistent basis this year. So why is Cincinnati the favorite in this game? It beats me, folks. But I'm taking them anyway. And uh, Philadelphia, to me, looks like the sucker bet of the week in the NFL. That's just the way I see it. And uh, that's not meant to be cocky. That's not meant to uh, be insulting. But the bottom line is I've been doing this a long time, and those types of situations come up. That's what I deem them to be. So the strong language is just a terminology. It's just a phrase that I use and nothing more. But I'm going to take the Cincinnati Bengals here, minus two and a half against Philadelphia. Cincinnati, minus two and a half over Philadelphia on Sunday. Don't forget, folks, give me a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and go into your YouTube settings and click on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV. Don't forget to go to my personal link at Wager Talk, which is wt.buzz slash rb. Uh, my daily picks are up there. Uh, right now, uh, my daily specials, I should say, today, right now, I have the World Series winner, if you're watching on Friday, for Game 1. Uh, also have an NBA basketball play up for Friday evening, and my NBA 2-1 two one, two and one start to the season. And if you go back, uh, all the way back to April of 2023, um, I'm up around $10,000 with my NBA, NBA sides, and also since uh, last the late last year, February last year, 
make an absolute killing in the NBA, around 60% winners, 61% winners to be exact, and uh, over $5,500 in net profit. So you can get my NBA season pass right now for $7.95. And again, the good folks and the girls over at Wager Talk work very hard to make sure we always have something up for sale at Wager Talk. So not only for myself, but all the great handicappers there, but I'm a little biased. So check out my great offers. Check out my uh, all my hot streaks at wt.buzz slash rb. I'll be back with an NFL, another NFL free pick video very shortly. Take care and God bless.